Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I'm out here today to give a bid on doing some land clearing. This is a trail you used to be able to drive down, but for the most part now, it's kind of collapsed in where you can't access it that way, and they want to widen it out. They would like for me to go as far back into the brush as I can and open this up, because they want this to be a good area for wildlife, which means you don't want to cut everything, but you also don't want it so thick that it's impassable. Same thing on this side. They would prefer to have a lot of this cut back, but you can see there's big stumps in here. There's a lot of debris kind of all over the place. There's some equipment buried over here. There's an old antique plow here. Looks like actually maybe a planter and that's just the thing. Out here, on a job like this, you never know what you're going to run into. So you have to factor in some liability there. But these are the kind of projects that I get out of bed for. I love doing stuff like this. It's just a matter of giving the right number and then being careful about how you do the work. So let's walk the rest of the property and see what we find. Isn't that a cool looking trail? I don't know if I want to come out here and do a job or build a fort. So we're walking this property and my tour guide for this clearing job has found morel mushrooms, which are awesome. So they're hiding up on that hillside and he would tell me and I still couldn't see it. But I'm gonna have these for dinner. This is the bottom. So this trail runs the length of the property down at the bottom of a ravine. Then there's a couple different paths that lead up to the top of the hill. We're gonna go down to the end and wrap around the top and come back down this way. But this is probably the best way for me to get the tractor up there to clear at the top. And I don't know what it looks like on camera, but this is pretty darn steep. I'm gonna walk it all and, and see if I think I can get up there. We're on top of the hill now. You see the deer stand right there. They'd like some work done up here if I can get the tractor up here. The only accesses are pretty steep and I'd like a lot of area cleared up here if I can. It's going to be a little difficult, but I think it's probably doable. You just gotta be careful with these hillsides and make sure you keep your weight down low. But the material is within the range of what I can cut. Nothing here is too big for the machine. The most difficult part about clearing at the top of this is how steep we are on this hill right here. You can see it's pretty, it's pretty steep. I wore me out just walking up here, but I think I can get the tractor up here. For the size of that machine, it's heavy and it's not going across the hill, it's going straight uphill. So probably be all right. Right down, right down here at the bottom is where we were walking into the property at.
So now that I've walked the whole property, looked at the scope of what they want done, I definitely do want to do this job. I think it would be fun, but there's also a lot of expenses in owning and running a piece of equipment and a lot of hazards on a property like this. A lot of things can go wrong or be dangerous. So you've got to charge a fair price. Now a lot of people, I've watched probably the two best videos I've seen on pricing tractor work or tractor time with Tim and he came up with a very high number. I think some of the th metrics he used might have been a little high, but it's, you know, it's better probably to estimate high. But he came up with a number, you might be charging $150 an hour that your machine's running. And uh, Tony's Tractor Adventure has a really good video as well on how he prices tractor work. And he came up with a lower number. But for me, in a low cost of living area like I'm in now with a small tractor and what other people are charging, I've come in at around $65 an hour depending on the type of work. Stump grinding is much more per hour. That's an expensive attachment that can be hard on the tractor. And I bid the jobs to where I'm probably making twice that per hour to run it. But for something like this, I'm good with my $65 an hour rate, but it's a little open-ended to just give an hourly rate. So I think I'm going to offer them a day rate for this and assume that I'm going to work eight hours here, which means I'm going to put in a 10 hour day. And I think for that eight hours on the job, I'm going to bid this at $450 a day. And I think in an eight hour day, I can make a tremendous transformation on this property. Obviously, I can go all the way down the center and back, cutting that down. I can go up the hill, around where the uh, hunting area is and the shooting range. And then I think I can start working back into this more. But sometimes I'm a little over ambitious in what I can accomplish, but I really think I can transform this in one day's work. So hopefully they accept that job and you'll see a couple of videos of me out here working on this property. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Let me know in the comments how you would approach a project like this. I'm going to put links over here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.